What's up, you Mighty Morphin Montiversers? We are celebrating Power Ranger Week because it is the release of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers once and always this Wednesday, April 19th on Netflix. And they just released another clip for us to react to. Nikki, are you ready? I'm ready. I was pumped by the first one, and I'm especially excited to see this one because we talked about this before. Yeah, I... Hope, but I as as excited I am to watch this. This will probably be the last clip that we watch. I yeah, because I'm skeptical because I really want going as blind as possible. I want to, but I just want to enjoy it, and mm. I want to enjoy. It. And I'm so glad that the first two clips cl weren't plot heavy clips. And there's stuff that we saw in the trailer that we already knew was pretty much going to happen. Like just from the thumbnail of this, I'm assuming that this is going to be. The clip of the fight from the juice bar that we saw in the trailer. Yeah, with Rocky and Zack, where they, where Zack has the pretty great one-liner. Yeah. We, and we questioned the actual the proportions of, of it. whether or not it's just a yoga studio in <laughs> New Zealand uh, that they painted like the juice bar. But I guess there's only one way to find out. That is true. All right, let's check this clip out and let's see how big the juice bar really is. All right, guys, start the clip right now. Messing with this place was a big mistake. <laughs> big time. So did I get? Did they just kidnap her and bring her here? Uh, I have my phone. Oh! Oh my God! Our first. Oh my God! It's our first nice. taste of the new score. I don't remember them exploding like that before, though. Yeah, but they're just hitting them so much harder now. <laughs> oh, nice! They have, did you see those pictures? No. We gotta go back. Oh! Time for hip hop. Tito. <gasps> yes! Tito is back, baby. Yeah. Oh! Are you break dance fighting? Zach still <laughs> got it, baby. <laughs> I also appreciate that she kind of called it out. Oh my God, Rocky, you savage! <laughs> Rocky Demption. The Rocky Demption. Whoa! Oh, that was sick. Oh, that was so cool. <gasps> Oh my this, god. Now this is why one of my favorite things in Mighty Morphin are the unmorphed fight sequences because you get to see them actually at their full fighting potential instead of always having stunt doubles or the Sentai footage. Yes, this was so cool. So a couple of big things here. We got our first taste of Ron Wasserman's new score. Mm -hmm. As we know, Ron Wasserman, the original composer for the Power Ranger series, who gave us some of the sickest music mm -hmm. to ever hit the 90s and in general it still holds up to this day yeah between the theme of mighty morphin power rangers which is one of the most iconic themes ever made to the fight music which mm -hmm. is so so iconic <laughs> he created a new score for this special and it's just as rocking as ever <laughs> as soon as that thing kicked in it made me want to just go punch something mm -hmm. like but not something that I could hurt. Not, I was gonna say, not something that's gonna cause you more pain. Punch a putty in the face. Yeah. Uh, first, second of all, I love the putties. Yeah. Uh, the putties are my favorite minions just because I love how silly the noises they make are. Oh my god. I love yes. the boo, boo. <laughs> just hearing that again. And it's like they're essentially just like people in full body suits, but they're also so distinctive at the same time. Yes, absolutely. Um, hip hop keto. Oh my god! And again, I love the way that Min just calls it out because it's so it's, absurd, but it's so Zach. Absolutely, um, Walt, Walter still got it. I mean, I had no doubt that. that between, listen, between Walter and Steve Cardenas, these two guys are aging backwards. It feels like I feel like I aged more in the one minute that it took us to watch this <laughs> clip than they've aged in thirty years. Holy crap! I know, like, because I mean, I'm sure maybe there's like little moments or certain moves or maybe they e either used or considered having doubles, but it didn't look like it. It looked like they did a maj large majority of that themselves, if it, not all of it. Yeah, which is insanely impressive for guys who are in their late forties, early fifties. So cool. Um, but and then. I think, like we talked about it, it's much larger in scale than I think we expected. Yeah, it's larger in scale. That back room is still throwing me off because that thing was big enough to, to have, like, dances and plays. Yeah. And it turned into ninja competitions, and now it's just kind of tiny. But what I do love is how accurate yes. the actual, like, bar portion of it is. Like, mm -hmm. the actual juice bar yeah. section of the juice bar. 
Yeah. Like, wow, that's like an almost an exact recreation. They they did a fantastic job with that. Um, no, I think it's uh, that's what makes the shot in the tr- in the fir- in that trailer so weird. Is like maybe did, did they do that on purpose to like yeah. throw off people? But no, I think it looks really good. And again, it's interesting. Obviously, we don't want to speculate too much. Min is clearly in peril in this scene, and they're helping her out. I, but here's your thoughts. You were like, did they kidnap Min? My, like, I don't know if this is just my comic book brain working. I'm like, nah, Min definitely went to go fight putties. I can see that. To, like, she definitely pulled, like, a Robin, like a like a Robin's Reckoning, and she went out to try and avenge her mother. Or mm. she was just angry. Yeah. And she wanted to go fight some putties, and she got overwhelmed. She's... Oh. Or maybe this was like a very nostalgic place that she connects with her mom. That's true. And she just came here like to just be on her own and they ambushed her. Yeah. I mean, uh, who knows? Who knows? Maybe or maybe or or maybe maybe Robo Rita attacked this place or set up in this place knowing how much it meant to the other rangers. Min found out, went there. Mm-hmm. Robo Rita's like, I don't need you. You have no powers. Like, yeah. get bent. And she left <laughs> and let the putties handle it. Yeah. And now th- these two tanks show up and they're like, let's get down, yeah. dog. Let's 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 start dancing. Yeah. Also, I think I was wrong. For some reason, I thought those pictures in the background were of the Rangers because one of them I thought was Rocky for some reason. And I I think I was totally off. I don't know who the hell they are. No, but like you made me scroll back. And because of that, this says World Peace Day. A nod to Which is Kim. so, <laughs> so Mighty Morphin. Yeah. Uh, and her float that Rita, quite possibly the most evil Rita has been. And the saddest that Kim has been in the series so the far. The most petty episode of Power Rangers where Rita destroys Kimberly's float can, for World Peace Day. Can we also acknowledge, I mean, we just watched Doomsday, and which has some pretty large stakes. But I still don't think we've seen Kim more upset than no. when her float was trashed. No, like, Tommy <laughs> lost his powers. Yeah, but, you know, my float, though. The flower, not the flower. <laughs> like, uh, dude, like, the, like Megazard lost an arm. Ah, oh, that sucks. But I worked really hard on that float, guys. Right, or losing her grandma's, um, spin, the spinning <laughs> the, wheel. The, the spinneret or the spinning wheel, yeah. She's, uh, priorities. 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 Kimberly's She's got thinking them of pr- the entire world. My gosh. But anyway, um, overall, I really like this clip. And I think, like you said, it's perfect because it doesn't really reveal the plot, but we still get a really good vibe of what the special will be like. Yeah, it's it's awesome. It feels like an adult version of the world of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Yeah. And that's what I want. And that's what everyone should go into this expecting it to feel like. Don't expect it. Like, it's going to be darker. Like I said, it's an adult version of this world. Right. So there is darkness to it, but still expect hip hop keto. Still expect the cheesiness to exist that exists in this world. Right. The World Peace Day, Mm -hmm. the juice bar that is like a clown car. And I'm sure that there's like 75 other rooms in this place. Oh, my God. Also, like, it, I just love, like, it's shot so cleanly. Like, obviously, like, the technology that they're filming with is updated, that they're editing with. Of but course. It's it, HD. It now is, everything's in 4K. But, like, it just looks great. And it's cool seeing the familiar location through that scope. Oh, absolutely. Definitely. And it's also cool. Like, it almost seems like when they first morph in... Mm-hmm. All the workout equipment is in, like, Power Ranger colors. And I don't know if, the, yeah. if Angel Grove, like, does that to celebrate. Because, look, you have, like, yellow, blue, red, green. Like, everything is color-coordinated pink, color-coordinated by the Rangers. So I wonder if, like, I would love to see how Angel Grove is is has evolved mm-hmm. over oh. 30 years. You know that they're basically, like, at minimum local celebrities, if not this, these, yeah. this renowned group that's associated with the city. Yeah, I don't know, but I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out in two days. Oh, it's coming up. That's crazy. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a huge like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe to the notification bell to stay updated on all of our latest content. We have tons of Power Ranger content coming to you this week. We have like seven Power Ranger videos between today and Wednesday coming your way. And that's not it. We have Doomsday coming, uh, Doomsday Part 1, our reaction coming later today. We're doing. We're going live tonight, so if you're around, stop into the live stream, come hang out. 
We have a very fun video that we're putting together for you guys that should be ready either tonight or first thing tomorrow that you should all be very, very excited for. We have Doomsday Part 2 that we're releasing tomorrow, our reaction to that. And of course, full coverage of Once and Always. We're doing a review, a reaction, and a live stream spoiler discussion. So like I said, we're throwing we're throwing content at you this week. <laughs> so make sure you stay to do the channel stay, to stay on top of all of it. And until next time, guys, stay versed and may the power protect you.